It is no secret that Facebook has been plagued by privacy concerns and problems. Tonight, a new report and possible emails that link CEO Mark Zuckerberg to those controversial practices. That sent Facebook shares lower by more than one and a half percent. Julia Borston has the details. The Wall Street Journal reporting that Facebook emails uncovered as a result of the Federal Trade Commission's privacy investigation suggest Mark Zuckerberg was aware of privacy problems at Facebook. The question, whether emails reveal practices that violate Facebook's 2011 commitment to the FTC that it would protect users' privacy. The article pointing to an exchange before the FTC consent decree went into effect, in which Mark Zuckerberg asked employees about an app that claimed to have compiled tens of millions of users' data, inquiring if that was possible and if Facebook should stop that kind of stockpiling. Facebook suspended that particular app Zuckerberg asked about, but the journal notes that Facebook did not take broader, aggressive steps to protect users' privacy. Facebook responding, we have fully cooperated with the FTC's investigation. At no point did Mark or any other Facebook employee knowingly violate the company's obligations under the FTC consent order, nor do any emails exist that indicate they did. Senator Warner, who's been critical of Facebook's privacy practices, addressed this report on CNBC today. Part of the challenge with a lot of the tech companies is the founders, when they and they, they were great innovators, but they oftentimes created a separate class of stock in terms of founder stock that means that they in many ways get to enjoy the benefits of being a public company without some of the oversight and restrictions. So uh, I think this is a, an issue that is candidly bigger than just Facebook. This comes as we await the FTC's settlement with Facebook over its privacy violations, which Facebook has said will include a fine of up to $5 billion. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Los Angeles.